What's your Super Bowl pick? Split. Not gonna lie, gang. Um, on FanDuel, I'm picking both of them niggas. Uh, <laughs> and, I'm and, and, I'm and reality, a couple in reality, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a band. Reality, I'm, I'm going with Kansas City. That's the money play. You feel me? But I'm, I'm, a, I fuck with the Eagles, but it's like, bro, you gotta keep it a hundred. Like, I don't think the defense is gonna be hitting the same against yeah. the Chiefs. I yeah. think the same shit though. I can't think I got, I got anything feeling. can happen. Yeah, you know how this go. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker break their elbow every every other play in this shit. <laughs> so you know you don't know. Yo, just just to go on the dawn bets right real mm-hmm. quick, right? A lot of niggas is gonna come out and do their thing that don't get busy on a regular game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's why it got me messed because it's like right, I'm gonna just bet on the team this time because. Mm-hmm. You have three, four people come out of nowhere, and then the people you think is set ain't gonna get all busy. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, that's that's every that's every playoffs, and especially in the Super Bowl, because they they really game plan for that, try to game plan for what the other team isn't. And so then, when you they expect it as they expect it, then it's like, nah, we let's swing it to him. Nah, that shit go crazy. Yeah, so shit, all your money going. Yeah, you tired. Yeah, that's a fact. Five um, yards lost it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, make sure y'all y'all tune into Don's bets. That's coming. Fact, you know fact, what I mean? Uh, Other than that, I'm Gucci. Man. Yeah, that should have been. That should be the episode before this. You know what I'm saying? This should be a probably Monday or something like that. It should um, be. Let's uh, let's pick up on NBA trades. Oh man, let's start there. Let's oh, start there. Man. We ain't um, talk about that. Yo, you the know, only one that we was able to there, talk about was Dallas. There because this shit is crazy, man. Uh, I re- we recorded um, the Super Bowl edition Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah. Right. We recorded it Wednesday. Today is Friday. And after we recorded, I wish we had spoke about it on the episode, but it was basically Super Bowl uh, talk. Afterwards, I said to you, right? I said, yo, yo. You don't trade KD? Yeah, and I was like, it depends yeah, on what. Yeah, yeah. It depends on what. Did I what not say? Mean? What teams did I say? Them niggas left Brooklyn bad. You did. You named Phoenix. You named a couple of those players that was in that. Yeah, the only one that wasn't was Aiden. Yeah. Everybody else, uh, basically. Yeah. The other and I think two. you named another team, but. But I'm the Phoenix, sure. didn't I say call a Phoenix? Oh no, I said Boston with Jalen Brown. Yeah, but that was happening. Yeah, that so uh, I just wanted to touch on that. I kind of like spoke crazy. spoke that uh, Phoenix trade up, man. I yeah, so uh, so Phoenix got Kevin Durant and TJ Warren, mm-hmm. and the Nets got Mikael Bridges, Mikael Bridges Cam, Cam Johnson, Johnson, and four first round picks. Jay Crowder was also in that, but they, they sent him to Milwaukee. They sent him to Milwaukee. Fresh legs in Milwaukee. Yeah. Championship player, legs. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> they still got. They gonna have him and Portis on the same team. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let me see. You saw how disrespectful that was, son. Uh, the Clippers sent John Wall back to Houston. Yeah, but he won't play in Houston. They gonna <laughs> cut him too. But what's your thoughts on that trade for, with, with KD and Brooklyn? Um, I kind of like I was talking to you before or uh, after. The episode that day I said it needed to be done Brooklyn should have had to do it and it's not KD's fault it's not the Nets fault it's Kyrie fault you know because Kyrie chose to leave and get traded and they traded him it's like at this point why keep KD you can't you're not going to build around him he's not going to be happy you know what I'm saying It's, it's only going to become more of a, a, a strange relationship. Yeah, a strange. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and he's he's hurt, damaged goods. Right. He's aging. Yeah. He's 34 years old. Yeah. So while people have a demand for him and his game is still here, get what you can for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not winning championship this year or next year with him. So that puts him at 36 going on 37. Get rid of him now. Get some like I was telling you. Get some. It's not about superstars no more because you're not getting that. No, all the superstars are aging. Yeah, they're you getting know. older. Well, so get some of these stars. Yeah, get some of these yeah, young you players have to that's, sign that's somebody balling. Later on, yeah. Get what? some of these young players that's balling and some some draft picks, and you never know what happens. Alexander, oh, uh, SGA. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you ain't Different. nobody getting them. But you could have made that trade last year. 
sent them back to K, uh, the the yeah. OKC. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, but I mean, it's like you that. said, there's a couple of uh, like the next couple summers, they, the, the next superstars. They're on. They're peaking, and, yeah, and yeah. a lot of these guys that a lot of people are not paying attention to uh, are going to yeah. have room to, to to just take off because spots are going to be open. A lot so, of these guys that are yeah. prominent. Right now, I'm retiring. They're going to be on their way out. Yeah, hopefully the Nets can still have something. Mikel Bridges to, had... And like, all those second-round picks was... Yo, know, Booker had, got hurt. He went out Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. Mikel Bridges was averaging 20 points since he went out. Yeah, like 23. Yeah, 4 and 5 or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, you don't know who these players are going to be because we're caught up on the superstars. But you built, they got a nice... They did their yeah. thing. Like, they got what they mm-hmm. needed. They played good last night and won. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like this team. It kind of reminds the me of, of the team Jared the Allen, Karis LeVert. Before KD came. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Yeah. I could watch this team and enjoy Those players that they dumped Even away. though I don't Taylor. like the Nets name because mm-hmm. it's Jersey. You know, yeah. I will always stand on that. But I could watch this and be like, all right, grow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's how I feel about it. And they failed. Like, a lot of people had high hopes, and yeah. that shit turned into nothing. So, what was your thoughts on the Lakers' moves? Oh, I think the Lakers uh, probably made the best moves in the trade that line. They picked up uh, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. They, they picked <laughs> up uh, D'Angelo Russell, uh, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Uh, yeah, Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba. Yeah, um, uh, and, Beasley. and Malik Beasley. On the same bench as Scotty Pippen. As Scotty uh, Pippen Jr. Scotty Pippen Jr. Malik Beasley is on the same bench as Scotty Pippen so Jr. Boom. And he used to fuck his moms. Malik Beasley was the dude oh. that was fucking Scotty Pippen's wife. Remember? One of the first ones. One of the first ones. One of the ones. first basketball ones. And now he's on the same team as Scotty Pippen's son, son that bears his name. <laughs> I told but when it's happening, we right? Then I say this is gonna happen. Then, nigga, of course, yo, what is years ago, on my team, yo, nah, not years ago. I did a couple months ago, not years. Nah, when when ago. it first came, the we was talking about this on the part too. I said, yeah. yo, when he get it, he's gonna go to the league because he nice. When oh, he yeah, get to the yeah, league, before he got in the league. Yeah, before yeah. he got there, I said, when he, he get to the bump league, he's going to bump into one of these niggas that was like, fucking his mom. He might be on the same bench as one of these niggas. He's going to be in a locker room, nigga. The LeBron hit a game. The LeBron going to hit a game with a shot. Ha. Nah, they that's fucked celebrate up. together. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like you said. You telling him in practice. Tell him, oh, why haven't your mom pull up to the locker room? What is she? Yeah, what is she still see bring? You. Yeah, she, she bring long. him lunch or something. Not to see you. Fuck, fuck that. She at the games. Oh, man. I mean, she fucking with Michael Jordan. Yeah, she fucking right with Michael Jordan. Jordan. She fucking with Michael Jordan son right now, so. Yeah, we got to relax. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I still like Jordans. I'm being quiet. <laughs> So, yeah, I like what we... <laughs> the Lakers <laughs> moves. Too. The Lakers moves were amazing, I think. Uh... I think they got rid of people don't like them getting rid of Thomas Bryant because he was balling. Shit happens. Well, he act, he not in a bad way, but he asked to be moved because ever when AD came back, his minutes started dwindling, and he was like, "I could play alongside him or just let me go then because I I feel like I'm productive." So they accommodated him for a couple of second draft picks and shit like that. Sent them to a, a team that they probably shouldn't have though. Who? Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he can run with Jokic. Yo, who got Bones Highland? The Clippers. The Clippers made the worst moves ever. They did. To me. Okay. Then the Bucks get to come up. Yeah, they got Jay that Crowder. Crowder. That's all they needed. It's Jay Crowder. That's all they needed, and they might be on the way to a chip or something. But um, well, we forget. Atlanta they traded, didn't do nothing. Uh, the Warriors traded James. Who? Atlanta. No, they ain't do nothing. They yeah, trying to get Josh they, um, Jason Collins, but they can't. I thought they picked somebody. They picked somebody up. Sadiq Bay, bro. They got oh, yeah, Sadiq Bay. And, and James that. Wiseman mm-hmm. went to uh, Detroit. Detroit. And a lot of it was a lot of movement. Gary yesterday. Payton the second goes back to um go to state. That's just weird. Crazy. I mean, he what he left for six months. Nigga what, sent. what was the other shit niggas was talking about? The the um that's on limbo. The Westbrook shit and then the other shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, West, Westbrook, they talking about Chicago. You might be going to Chicago on the yeah, buyout. because he went to, um, in the three-team deal, Utah had bought him out. 
But the so. best move out of the trade deadline was what? What? This nigga. Josh Hart? <laughs> yeah, I picked Josh, Josh Hart, Hart going to the Knicks, <laughs> baby. Yo, that's all I needed, bro. I, I'm sorry. A lot of people will sleep on it until you see it and let you know. You know what I'm saying? Josh Hart is his name, and that's what we needed. Uh, nah, Josh Hart is right. Um, didn't he play with uh, Jalen Brunson? They won a chip together. And Villanova. Mm -hmm. Should be different, man. Fine, fine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, 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 it's a player that, that Tibbs loves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and y'all already know Kyrie went to Dallas. Yeah, yeah, we, we spoke on that, that right? nature. Yeah, we spoke on that. The clip is up right now. Go to the YouTube channel. You know what I'm Played saying? Played amazing in his first game. Um, But we and back at it. Yeah, Kyrie. Westbrook is going to be wilding. Just letting niggas know. Uh -huh. He's on LeBron's heels. Yes. I ain't going to front. Like, how the nigga I heard, the I heard Chicago and Miami is interested in him. So, let's see where he goes. Going to go for the for some So, um, last week we started talking about our, because um, this year, 2023, is 50 years of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. In August is gonna be the anniversary. We started talking about our hip hop shit and all that. What's your What's your um? Not just who's like some of your favorite hip hop artists all the time. All time favorite hip hop artists. We will go with Biggie Smalls, mm -hmm. Nas, uh, Big L. Okay. Um, Jay Z, Little Wayne. 